Hey guys, it's Kiki here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be doing some more crochet braids. Anyway, I did not take, like who, um, mm, this is a lot of hair to individually twist. No, boo-boo, I did not do that. <laughs> we did crochet braids. So I'm going to be showing you today the pattern that I use as well as what I did to install this hair. And I'm going to get in my thoughts and opinions at the end. But before we do that, I hope you subscribe. Turn on post notifications, that way you know that I post. Also follow me on social media so you can keep up with my life when I'm not on here. But anyway, if you're interested in finding out how I got my hair this way, make sure you stay tuned. All right guys, so we're starting out with this pack of Knowledge Tresses, Nomadic Twists in the color 1B. And this is in the 20 inch. And these twists are super springy, like literally springy. And here's the loop, it's very soft. And here's just a glimpse of the twist. I really like the pattern of it. So now I'm showing you my braiding pattern. So I did 12 cornrows straight back. But in the front, I have these sectioned away so I can create individual twists to create a more natural look. And this is just a glimpse of the back, just straight backs. I did not tuck my hair. What I did is I'm showing you now. I unraveled one of the twists and crocheted that in and just twisted it around my hair. That way I didn't have to focus on sewing the ends of my hair up or crocheting the ends of my hair because honestly as you saw it was full back there and i don't think i could have crocheted my hair within itself so this is my option uh it didn't work the best but it got the job done but i'll show you here when i finish this one how that looks after i did all 12 tails of my braids And my hair is pretty much concealed in the twist. So I'm very happy about that. And this is how that looks after I did all 12. And it did take some time. So I did not like that. <laughs> so next time I will do a different method. But now I'm just doing the traditional crochet. Put the hook through my braid. Put the loop on the hook. Pull that through. And then loop it to secure. And of course I will do this a lot more times uh, if you're not familiar with crochet so it's very simple very easy and this hair was so easy it was able to glide through my hair with no problem and I did not do my crochet excuse me I did not do my braids that tight because I didn't want any tension I didn't want the sensation of something pulling when I pulled the hair through. But here I'm just showing you that I did stagger my twist because I did not want my hair to be super full. I did at least one finger width apart. And that way, you know, I have enough hair and it's not too full. So now that I'm done with the back, I am moving on to the front. And I'm just going to do the same thing, but I'm going to pull my twist as well as the crochet twist through the loop and pull it to secure. And I do this on all of the sections that I twisted individually. And then I'm going to go back and twist my hair within the twist. I move a lot faster when I do one repeated motion at one time as opposed to doing one whole twist and then twisting my hair in. So this is now where I'm showing you how I untwist the twist. <laughs> it took quite some time to untwist these twists. Look how springy they are. Like they're just bouncy and springy and long. They're a lot longer than what they look. So after I unravel the twist, I'm just concealing my hair within the hair as I twist it back down. And I did start on blow dry hair. I, it was freshly washed, deep conditioned blow dry hair because this would have taken a lot longer if I worked on shrunken hair. That was not gonna happen. So I do recommend that you stretch your hair in some type of way before you do a style like this because it helps you move a lot faster. 
but i am done guys i am done this wasn't a super long tutorial but now i am gonna get into my opinions all right guys i hope you enjoyed the styling so now we're gonna get into my thoughts i always start with the pros and then we get into the cons my pros i got a lot this hair is so light i honestly didn't expect it when i saw this picture i was like oh we about to have some weight it's so light y'all like literally one of these strands feel like nothing my whole head i'm not getting that weighed down feeling I'm not feeling like there's tension on my scalp. Y'all, no, 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 I don't like tension. So this is it, this is it. This is a great protective style. Like my entire, all of my hair, Lionel is protected under here, so I feel good about that. The sheen, y'all know I don't get down with a, a heavy sheen. I don't deal with the heavy sheen. This is very light, it doesn't look exaggerated. It looks very nice, healthy and natural. This hair is gorgeous. Y'all, I'm getting spring, I'm getting summer, I'm getting boho, I'm getting sexy, I'm getting everything. I'm getting like all of these vibes right now and I'm loving it. I haven't done a crochet style this small before, like the twist being this small. I don't even think I've done like a regular twisted like individually this small so i really like the look it's giving me like a passion twist slash spring twist mix it's very springy like i don't know if that's why they're called spring twists because i've never had them i've wanted to do them and i will do them i just don't know when but yeah it's giving me like that vibe and i love some long twists like that's like one of my number one protective styles so i'm digging it it was so easy when I say I was blitzing through with the crochet, like with my braids, I was crocheting like crazy. It took no time to get these twists in. The loops are soft. I cannot stand crocheting traditional style with some hard loops. I can't, it hurts. Like it shouldn't hurt to do a hairstyle. That's just me. I don't need to hurt to get a good looking style. Like I've never been that tight because at the end of the day, I'm gonna pay the consequences when that style come out and I'm not about that life. You can do, y'all, you can do some cute hairstyles with no tension. Remember that. On to my cons. So this hair, y'all, I got a couple cons. Hmm. Let's start with this one because this is the one that aggravated me the time this hairstyle took a whole nine eight hour nine hour shift so if you would have went to work and got off i would have just been finishing it took a long time if you if you leave individuals in the front it's gonna take you a little extra time because i had to separate the twist and then twist it around my hair so that took a lot more time but yeah i wanted that more natural appearance in the front so i could wear my hair in buns and ponytails and space buns up here in the front while leaving the back down so i could get that flexibility but if you don't care about that i recommend doing the straight backs because you'll save a lot of time number two i ran out of hair so i don't know if i just have a big head or if I have a lot of hair or I just didn't have enough hair. Well, as you saw during the video, I staggered the twist. So I left it not at the top cause you know, I don't want nobody to see what's going on up there. But like in the back, you can see right here. As you can see in these braids, this is a good example. I left a lot of space in between the hair because I don't like big crochet braids. So I did more braids this time. I think I had 12 braids total. So maybe that's why I ran out of hair. I don't, like I said again, I got eight packs of hair. I used all eight packs of hair. I used all of it. And 15 came in a pack. So I literally used it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was informative. I hope I did a great tutorial. I hope, you know, that you're able to get some insight on these twists because they're gorgeous. I'll leave a link to this hair down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns that I didn't touch base on. 
please make sure to leave it down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. I really enjoy y'all and I love creating videos for y'all. Like I love to do this. So if you wanna keep seeing me and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on post notifications, that way you know when I post. Also, follow me on social media so you can keep up with me when I'm not on here. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.